Do you have a light around the house that just keeps getting left on? You know you're wasting electricity because people forget to turn it off. I have a storage room in my basement. The kids are always going in and out. They're always leaving the light on. I found a solution, I think. We're gonna install a motion detector uh, or an occupancy sensor so that it detects when you come in the room, turns the light on, and then when you leave and it doesn't detect motion, it shuts the life light off automatically. You don't have to remember anything. Hopefully that solves my problem. I'm gonna show you how to install a motion detector in this video, so let's go do it. You know what? I forgot to tell you, subscribe, turn on notifications, whatever you gotta do to get notified when a new video comes out. Let's go do this. See what I mean? Always leaving the light on. So this is the switch that keeps being left on in the storage room. I picked up a uh, motion sensor or an occupancy sensor. I'm going to install it in place of this switch and it should detect when anyone opens the door and comes in, the lights will kick on. But after they're gone, if there's no movement for a certain period of time, it should shut off and that should help a lot. So let's do this. First, Obviously you want to shut off the power, make sure you're safe. Now you're not going to need very many tools. This is going to be very similar to replacing a switch. Um, so we're going to take the cover plate off, check, make sure we don't have power. I want to check, make sure we don't have power. This is easy because the lines are exposed, but just want to make sure that our thing's not going off. Remove the screws holding the switch in. Double check again, just to make sure. I've got plenty of wire here, so I'm gonna snip these off. So with a single pole switch, it doesn't actually matter which leg is the hot leg and which one is the switch leg or the load. On this though, in the diagram, it actually is specific and calls out that you put the hot on the black and the load on this other screw here. So we actually have to figure out which line is the hot line. Now, without touching anything, you can turn the breaker back on and take your tester and you can figure out which one is the hot, hot side. So this one right here is going to, we're gonna hook it to our black terminal. This one here is going to hook to the other one because this is the hot load. This is hot, this is load. Now we're gonna shut the power back off. Okay, so now I'm going to strip the wires, being sure to keep the hot wire off to the side. So this style of outlet, you can actually slip the wires back behind. You don't need to make a hook. You slip them behind there, you tighten down, and it holds the wires in. This is the load side. So I'm gonna put the load side in. Same, come down. On the hot side, same thing. Tighten the connections down snug. Fold the wires back into the box. Screw the screws in the box. So there's a couple of programming settings that you can do with this. In order to get to it, you have to take this cover plate off. Be careful with it because if you break these pieces off, you won't be able to hold on. That's also what you do if you want to take that off and put one of these different colors on. I like the white, so that's what I'm doing. Here's the timer adjustment. Here's the light sensitivity adjustment. So this one controls when it turns on based off of how much light is in the room. If you want this to come on regardless of how much light is in the room, you want to turn it all the way up to three. If you have a room where there's a lot of daylight in there and you don't want it to come on when there's already plenty of natural light, you would turn it counterclockwise and go all the way over to zero. This is a dark room, doesn't actually matter for me. The timer, this is how long the light will stay on once it's stopped detecting motion. So. Over here at zero, it means when it doesn't detect motion, it'll shut off after 30 seconds. 30 seconds, five minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes. The previous switch was a toggle switch, so this cover plate isn't going to work. So we have this 
Decora style plate. Not that it matters, but I was always told to make sure that your screws like line up. Well, this was only slightly harder than installing a single pole light switch. The only tricky part was making sure you identify which is the hot wire and which is the load wire. Um, but if you've got an area of the house, a room, a closet or something where you think an occupancy sensor or a motion detector is gonna help you save energy from people leaving the lights on, this is a really good option. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you found this video helpful or informative, give us a thumbs up. Uh, we'd like to know what other videos you'd like us to make about your electrical plumbing, heating or air conditioning system. Leave us a comment below for those. Turn on notifications, subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks so much for watching. See ya.